It's week five of the North American Soccer League spring season and things just got interesting. Riding a three-game winning streak, Fort Lauderdale Strikers leap to the top of the table following their Saturday night 4-0 thrashing of Atlanta Silverbacks. With the New York Cosmos hard-fought 1-0 victory over previously undefeated Minnesota United FC, there are four teams within three points in the race for the NASL Spring Championship. New York Cosmos, riding a two-game losing streak, welcomed league leader Minnesota United FC to James M. Schuert Stadium. The first 45 was scoreless, highlighted by loon keepers Matt Van Okel, making a number of solid saves, including this driving gem. Second ball sent up, across the way, big save Van Okel. Marco Senna found a way to beat Van Okel when he curled home a ball off a corner kick in the 61st minute that gave the Cosmos a crucial three points. Senna brought it down, tags that one. Marco Senna, terrific goal. New York leads, the drops over. Minnesota pressed hard in the last 25 minutes, but couldn't get a ball past Cosmos keeper Jimmy Maurer, who recorded his third shutout in five games. The Cosmos, now in third place, just three points behind, travel to Tampa Bay next week, and the marquee matchup will be Minnesota United FC hosting Fort Lauderdale Strikers in a critical week six match that might just determine the NASL spring champion. Ottawa Fury FC welcomed Tampa Bay Rowdies on a sunny evening at Keith Harris Stadium in Canada's capital. Fury FC and Rowdies played a hard 90, but finished tied 1-1. Rowdies keeper Matt Pickens had a massive save on an early Ottawa penalty kick. Pickens is an unbelievable 3-for-3 three three in PK saves this spring. Shortly after this, Georgie Kristoff got the visiting squad on the board by slotting away a PK. Donatelli wouldn't let that stand and netted the equalizer off a deflection. Sends it into the area, it's in! It's a goal. And it was a goal, the Oxford Fury have tied this up. Both teams worked up and down the pitch in the second half with numerous scoring opportunities for both clubs, but ultimately they both settled for one point with a tie. Ottawa heads to face fellow expansion club Indy 11 and Tampa Bay will host the Cosmos. The Fort Lauderdale Strikers welcomed Atlanta Silverbacks to Lockhart Stadium and they poured it on to gain the full three points and leapfrog into first place following their 4-0 victory. Martin Nunez started the ball rolling with his third goal in three games. Guerrero, Nunez, uh, nice little touch pass. The Sparky to the area. There it is! Oh, there it is! Goal for Fort Lauderdale. Martin Nunez on the follow-up. There was little that could be done to stop Mark Anderson's 50th minute strike from just outside the 18 yard box. Anderson's crack put strikers up for good, 2-0. Strikers added two more in the second half with a free kick from Carlos Salazar and a PK from Fafa Pical. Strikers travel to Minnesota while Atlanta travels to Carolina. Goals by forward Daryl Fordyce and defender Kareem Moses in a two-minute span were all FC Edmonton needed as they secured a 2-1 to -one victory before a sold-out crowd of 10,285 for Indy 11 at IUPUI's Michael A. Carroll Stadium. Indy 11 got their name on the board in the 30th minute off a free kick when forward Mike Ambersley's header passed the goalkeeper, cutting the lead to 2-1. FC Edmonton traveled to Montreal for the second leg of their semi-final with the impact on Wednesday night and then traveled to San Antonio Saturday night. San Antonio Scorpions welcome Carolina Railhawks to Toyota Field in search of their first home victory of the 2014 season. 
The first half between the Scorpions and Railhawks was contested mainly in the midfield as each team tried to impose their passing game on the other. San Antonio broke through in the second half, sparked by substitute Billy Forbes' two assists. First to Eric Hasley, then to Danny Barrera. Into the area, possibility here. He drives it to the top of the area, and Hasley makes no mistake. Scorpions closed out the scoring with a PK goal from Thomas Sahorsky in the 72nd minute. The victory moves the Scorpions into fourth place, just three points behind Fort Lauderdale and Minnesota, with Carolina right behind in fifth. Week 5 bunched the NASL spring table and led to a big matchup in Minnesota between the Loons and the Strikers. And this was week five in the North American Soccer League in the chase for the championship. <laughs>